So today we're starting a series of uh, YouTube videos about living off the grid, living sustainably. Um, and the first set of videos is about installing a solar water heater. So the, the device in your house that most probably uses the most amount of electricity um, is your, your water, water heater. In South Africa we call it a geezer. So, um, as we go through the video and I, I refer to a, uh, a geyser, I'm actually talking about the water heater. Now, uh, the system that we're going to install uh, today is a, uh, is a direct system, it's a passive system, and it is a low pressure system or gravity feed system. I'll, I'll do a little insert somewhere during the videos explaining the different types of uh, water heaters. Now, before you begin with anything, you must plan. So, in front of me, on the table, I've got everything that I think I need for the installation. So, uh, let's uh, zoom in and have a look. Um, so, I've got a, a battery-driven set of, uh, that includes a screwdriver and a, a driver, because we're going to take some roof screws out uh, and put them back. Um, the piping, I'm, I've chosen to actually do copper piping. Um, this is a uh, quarter inch copper piping. Uh, and that means that I either have to solder, so here's a bunch of connectors, elbows, um, connectors, T pieces and so forth, um, that can be used for the copper for soldering. In some instances, I will actually use uh, Konex connectors. So this is a Konex connector. Here uh, there's a little washer that goes over the, the copper. And as you fix the screw, it basically seals. Um, we need our user manual, obviously, um, telling us how to do that. I've chosen to also install an element as a backup um, in the water heater. It doesn't often happen in South Africa that we don't have sun food lots of times, but yeah, a nice backup maybe to have. Um, as I say, we're gonna we're gonna install it on, on the roof. So there's some roof screws and washers to make sure that it's sealed. Because I'm gonna do soldering. I've got a blowtorch and some spare gas. I've got some uh, shifting spanners, some standing knives, something to sit on when I'm working on the roof because the roof gets quite hot, number one, and number two, I'm getting a little bit long in the tooth. Um, solder, solder flux, uh, to seal connectors, uh, either plumbing tape or, uh, or hemp. I prefer to use the hemp something to measure with, a multi-tool, some screwdrivers, a um, water pump plier, something to cut the copper pipe with, a file. Um, from a safety perspective, I've got some, some gloves, because you know, if you solder, the stuff gets very really hot. Um, this is a flamethrower, basically. So uh, just for in case something goes wrong, I'll take a fire extinguisher with. Um, I've got some steel wool, um, and I'll tell you later what I'm going to do with the steel wool. It's quite a warm day today, so I've got a hat, I've got some sunscreen. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make a mess, but you know, uh, I must just to get, get some dust out, um, some eye protection. Um, and then when you do an installation of a hot water system where there's electricity involved, you must make sure that the two ends of the piping going into and coming out of the water heating system is properly grounded and connected to each other. So yes, some first strip and some brass screws. And I'll explain a little bit later why I use brass screws. So, uh, in terms of tools, that's what I think I need. I know there's something missing. There's a spanner that's used to actually fit the, um, the element. And I just can't find mine. 
So I'm going to use the shifting spanner to put it in. Um, not the best way to do it, but uh, I just can't find the, the right tool at the moment. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually unpack the solar water heating system um, and see what all the components are. Um, then we're going to get onto the roof and actually see where we're physically going to install it. Um, and then we'll start with the installation of the physical water heating system, then the piping, and then the last little video that we'll do, I'll show you how to actually connect the element in a safe and responsible fashion. Okay, so that's it for preparation. Okay, it doesn't matter how well you plan, you're always going to forget something. For this specific installation, we needed a number 14 metric spanner. Uh, I've used a ratchet and two spanners to physically bolt the frame. 